What's up guys, it's Instinct here, and today I'll be showing you guys how to make this balloon text that you guys see on the screen. For the Cinema 4D tutorial, you guys will be needing Cinema 4D R21 or higher, and I will leave a link in the description to the exact materials and the Lightroom I am using for this tutorial. With all that said guys, let's jump right into the video. So what you guys want to do is you guys want to go ahead and click MoGraph and click Mo Text. From here, go ahead and click Object and go ahead and change the text to whatever you want. So I'm going to do balloon like this in all caps and go ahead and click where it says align, go ahead and click middle and then I'm going to put the depth to 60 centimeters and change the font to Cunia. For the font, I recommend something really nice and blocky like uh, Cunia, but you guys can use whatever font you want. Now I'm going to go ahead and click the scale tool right here and just size this down a little bit so it's in frame and then change the back, the depth back to 60 centimeters like so. From here what we're going to do is go into caps and where it says round, actually where it says size, click 3 centimeters like so. And then for segments I'm going to do something like 10. And then where it says cap types, go ahead and change this to regular grid. Click this little arrow to see the size and put this at one centimeter. From here, what we're going to go ahead and do is grab a volume builder. Now, if you guys do not see the volume builder, these three cues right here, then you guys are on R20 or below. This is why you need R21 or higher because that is when the volume builder was introduced. So go ahead and click volume builder and drag the text into the volume builder like so. It's gonna get all pixelated, which is fine. So go ahead and click volume builder and change the box size to one centimeter, which will make things a lot more smaller to add a lot more detail. And go ahead and click SDF smooth to smoothen this out just a little bit more, but that's still not enough. So what we're gonna do is add the volume measure. So go ahead and click on these three cubes. Go ahead and select a volume measure and drag the volume builder into the volume measure like so and that will smooth everything out for you. So from here it's basically done Now all you guys got to do is drag your material onto the text like so. Click cubic and seamless. I'm actually going to put it on the text instead of the volume measure. Um, actually put it back onto the volume measure. There we go. And from here we can go ahead and click this button to render and this is what it's looking like. Now of course in my Lightroom if you guys rotate the sky uh, you guys will get different lighting so you guys can mess around with the lighting like so also you guys can tilt the text and it will also change the lighting so just go ahead and experiment with the lighting and materials like I said everything is linked in the description so go ahead and click the link in the description for the materials and the Lightroom. And one last thing to render, go ahead and click this little gear icon and go ahead and click save. Um, you actually go ahead and put this at 3840 by 2160 to render in 4K. Go ahead and click save. And save this anything you want. Go ahead and click these little three little dots and save it wherever you guys want and save it of course as whatever you guys want to. And once that is out of the way, you guys do not have to worry about the render settings at all because they come with the Lightroom. But once that's all done, go ahead and click this button and it will start to render. So that's basically it for this tutorial, guys. If you guys like this video, make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. Let me know what other Cinema 4D tutorials you guys would like to see. And with all that said, guys, it's been Instinct, signing out for now. Peace.